Hello everyone. Um, I'm here with uh, Garrett and Jordan, uh, two guests staying with us at Akazora. Thank you both for being here. I've worked extensively in the ski industry for I guess the last 10 or 12 years, uh, both doing photography and filmmaking and uh, trying to focus on stories that have to do with landscape and culture and, and kind of where skiing can can take us to explore those two concepts. So, I uh, started off a lot with just the action and the movement of the sport itself and then it kind of started carrying me more into the cultures and different places that I could visit through that, yeah. I think, you know, like anything, it just takes it takes a good idea and one that people can really get behind. The idea is the most important part and that it, as long as that's strong, then it will carry through until the end, hopefully. It really helps to like kind of know your predecessors. You know, none of us are doing something necessarily for the first time. So mm -hmm. it really helps to know, somebody has told me like, know the shoulders of the giants that you're standing on. You know, like kind of study the history and whatever it is that you find interest in. And then that usually will really flow into to your spin on that. When you're just able to be yourself and not have to really add a filter on top of that or yeah, then it's, then you, I think you, that's when you do your best work. Mm. It always helps to just push your work out as much as you can and, and be really humble about it, you know, and relationships go a long way. The film is for Patagonia. It's, the, it's a winter film for them that'll be released next fall. And um, it's really all about trees and our relationship with them. So we're taking several different angles at, at um, exploring trees and forests and, and our relationships. Um, so one of the angles is spirituality. And um, so we've kind of come to Japan to explore the concept of spirituality and uh, our relationship with nature and the forest um, and we're mixing that in with the snow sports so I think it's I whenever I go to a film festival I, I the reason I really enjoy it is because it's kind of an antidote or um, opposite experience of sitting at home and just watching Netflix you know we're sort of isolated and mm -hmm. those events like you said bring the community together and they have a there's a different energy that the room takes on when there's 500 or a thousand or even just 20 mm -hmm. people watching a film together and how they respond to the film and then have conversations afterwards and react to the film and so the film kind of lives on in, in a different way when people experience it together i think film festivals bring people that have common passions together you know, we may be kind of doing things in a slightly different way, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we have a lot of similar goals and ideas, and it's really, really nice just to share, so. It provokes a stronger community, and, and, and then afterwards, really good motivation afterwards, too. It's yeah. just solidifying, you know, yeah. having some autonomy like that, so. It's just fun. I find it just really inspirational, mm -hmm. and I'm always, whenever I go to the film festival, I always come away with new inspiration, new ideas, and kind of always being humble that how much work it takes to make good films. Yeah. <laughs> so I like to be reminded of that and, and hang on to that a little bit, like for when you start shooting a new project or whatever. So, yeah. Awesome. yeah.